Okay, so as next step, let's just look at the lowest possible frequency. So what's the lowest poss possible frequency? Um, remember that we discussed this before that um, if this is here our n and this is here our our x of n that um, so if we have n minus one here so we've got n samples then um, lowest possible is that that we're sque squeezing in exactly one one sine wave like this so let's say that's the lowest possible obviously we could also use a cosine wave which um, would go like that. Yeah, so, so here, so I saw a sine or a cosine, cosine wave. Um, so that's the lowest possible frequency. The, um, so if you're looking at the, um, at the uh, um, inverse Fourier transform, then Again, if we just write this here down, we've got our our x of k's, our frequency coefficients here. K n divided by n. And now here, it is so that um, we have x of zero, then we've got x of one, then we've got x of two and so on, up to x of um, n minus one. And in this case here, we're setting this now here to one. That's our lowest frequency. This this is zero, and the and the rest here also becomes zero. And so um, let's have a look how this how this formula turns out for the for the lowest one. So now we have um, just the just here the x x of one that's the only one which is which is left all the other ones are um are zero and um so the x of one we we set this here here to one and um and then and then this multiplies here to e two j two pi and then and then just the just uh, just the one here for the for the k so this gives us a small n divided by 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 big N, and so so we already see here that um, you know by by running here from from k to to n minus one, that this gives us exactly one one sine wave here because obviously this this here corresponds to zero and this here to two pi, and so and so here we are generating exactly one one wave with that, um, and so. Again, let's have a look quickly at um, at Python. How is this? How this looks like? Looks like there. So um, let's get rid of this of this here from the from the previous clip and um, start from from fresh. Let's create a empty empty array of zeros. So now we've got again loads of zeros, and now we are um, setting setting the second coefficient to one. And um, and doing the same, so xf uh, numpy fft i fft of of x, and um, so now that that looks much more dramatic. So we need to need to plot this now. Um, so let's let's go for first for the for the real part of this and see and see how this. How this um, turns out, and, um, and so here we see, so the real part gives us a nice cosine wave, and um, as as predicted, it, it's exactly one one revolution. Yeah. So and um, remember, there's this division by n here, so it's scaled by by um, one over n, and so it gives us 0.001 at the output here. And so so let's have a look at um, at the at the imaginary part of this.
Yeah, so now we have um, also the imaginary part plotted in here as the second curve. And so we see um, we're generating exactly exactly the lowest frequency here by, by having exactly one, one peak and one trough, and this for a sine and for, for a cosine. So now we can, um, in the next clip, move to the highest frequency. <laughs> 